Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be recapping what form factor is, so some of the things that we've already learnt in the last video, and we're going to recap it in special reference to what effective area is and slenderness of the plate elements, and how they are used to determine what the form factor is. And with that in mind, we're going to move on to an example of actually finding the form factor and using that to determine our design section capacity and compression. Right, so moving on, remember we're going to recap what form factor is. So we're going to start at the bottom this time. We're going to look at what form factor is and work our way back. So form factor is a ratio of effective area to gross area. So KF is equal to AE over AG. Right, now the effective area, which we need here, is actually determined by the effective width of the different plate elements. So our AE is equal to sigma BET, so the total effective area of the individual plate elements, where BE is the effective width. And working back, the effective width is actually determined by the ratio of our slenderness yield limit and our plate slenderness. So BE is actually equal to the ratio of our slenderness yield limit over our plate slenderness. That's B, where this term has to be less than B. So remember that when our plate slenderness is actually less than the limit, we will be using the total effective width as B, or the total width. All right, so moving on to actually KF. So if our KF is actually equal to one, where it's fully effective, our design section